Hey, it's Joe from Test Talks. Are you a developer or do you work with the team of developers that you want to get involved more with performance testing? If so, I might have the perfect open source tool for you. It's called K6 by Load Impact. In my latest Test Talks, I interview Robin from Load Impact all about why K6 was created and how it lowers the performance testing barrier to get your developers more involved with performance testing. As we shift more and more left, not only should we be doing automated tests early in the development life cycle, we also need to start including performance testing earlier and earlier in the development life cycle using a tool that actually integrates with the developers' ecosystems and languages that they're familiar with is going to be a big productivity boost for you. So here's a quick sample of my interview with Robin from Load Impact. For the full interview, head on over to testtalks.com forward slash 211. So one of the things that that uh, we heard from our customers and that we know ourselves also from being you know technical folk is that we tend to want to version control all the different types of code that we have and your testing scenarios your test cases are code just as any other you know application code or what have you that was one of the things that we wanted to make a, a tool that was freely available and, and usable in various different scenarios, you know, all the way from a developer running the tool on their personal or their own laptop, basically, to, you know, the company uh, integrating it into their CI tool or service, all the way to using, you know, uh, cloud infrastructure, etc. So that was a big part of it, having all aspects of the scripting and configuration as code, so it can, could easily be version controlled. And another big thing for us at Load Impact at least was being able to modularize the code. So being able to separate your, your test cases into different modules that you could easily reuse uh, for, you know, between different, different tests, but also across teams, as that was something that we saw was starting to happen, that part of this, this shift of, of you know, QA or performance engineers doing all the load of performance testing, the involvement of developers meant that you spread this responsibility across a larger number of users and, and, and also across different teams. So being able to share, have a common foundation of, of uh, code snippets basically was, uh, was and, and, and is very important. That's one piece in, in, in kind of the scripting configuration part of it. And then in the, in the execution part, we wanted something that was kind of fit well into how a lot of developers work, which means uh, command line. So as you know, a lot of the traditional tools are, are more GUI oriented. So we wanted something that fit very well into uh, how developers work, which means uh, in a lot of cases, you know, you have your favorite editor ID, you have your command line where you run various tools. So we wanted something that fit into that kind of uh, workflow. So that's why K6 is a command line tool. And then we also wanted the tool to be easy to kind of move from that uh, early test test debug, you know, testing stage to when you had your test case and scenarios you know, written and done and you wanted to move them to the automation stage. So we wanted the tool to be very fit natively into automation pipelines. So K6 has features to make it very easy to integrate into different different CI tools and services. You need to remove as, as many of those, you know, getting started hurdles as possible. So that's one of the reasons why we decided to go with, with JavaScript for, for K6, as that is a very, very common uh, language amongst developers. There's, there's a lot of folks that know, know JavaScript. So I think that's, that, that for one thing, uh, making the barrier to entry as, as, as smooth as possible.